Hi everybody, it's Tommy Joe from Bird Street Studio. This is the long awaited for video where we're going to go ahead and pick a winner for this handmade journal. And I just wanted to make sure that everybody understood how much I appreciate my subscribers. And really, I have appreciated all the comments and the interaction that we've had. So um, just to get some of the uh, uneasiness out of the way, I'm going to say I had a lot of comments on these videos, but I spent the morning printing them out. Look at all the comments that we've got here, printing them out and verifying that everybody is a subscriber. I know that some people have said they are subscribed to my channel. So I made a video a couple days ago about how you make your subscriptions public. And the reason for that is the idea is to appreciate the subscribers to ho hopefully for my channel to grow. And one of the ways that YouTube uh, people get their channels to grow is when people subscribe to them, them and their subscriptions are public. If somebody looks at who, el who else are they subscribed to? Who else, you know, has content that they're enjoying and they see their channel there then that brings more people to our channels. So that's why it was real important. So I did go out and I looked in my subscriber list. If you weren't there, I went to your subscribe to your channel and to see if I was listed. So although I had a lot of comments, I only had six people who submitted a lot of comments who were actually subscribed to me and their subscriptions were public on their own channel. There's one exception and that's Mitzi at 307 Junk Journals 4. Uh, Mitzi has been struggling trying to get her subscriber list public. You know, there are some people that, uh, you know, techie stuff is difficult or, um, for me, sometimes the most simple things are hard for me to get. But I've left Mitzi's comments in because she has mentioned my channel in, on, in her videos. And she has supported my channel. And, um, and so I felt like I'll help her get that subscription thing going because that'll be important. I think people follow her and... Uh, want to see who she's subscribed to. Uh, but in the meantime, I thought it was real important because she has supported me in her channel that I leave her comments in. And I think that's fair. Um, I did have a couple of friends who made comments, but they didn't show publicly subscribed. So I didn't feel that was fair to others to leave them in. So I have not. So that's the unpleasant part. <laughs> The pleasant part is um, all of this. I've gone through and even put, like if I found out what your name was or something, I tried to put that on there. So, you know, I could remember you. Um, this is the first interaction I've had with people. And, you know, until, you know, until I get going and people interact more with me, I, I won't necessarily remember everybody's name but to let you know, I do appreciate you. So the first thing I thought we would do is do a flip through of the journal. So this is the journal. Oh, I put a little potpourri pack in there and just to keep it smelling fresh. Okay, so this is the journal that we created together in our eight videos. It's a fabric soft cover. So you guys have all followed along in here and I, I think that we've, you know, you've seen it, but I don't think we did a flip through. So I thought I would do that real quick. And I have to tell you, I absolutely love this journal. And if there is ever one that I made that I would like to keep, this would be it. It just feels really good. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through.
the whole point of this, um, as we remember, was that it would be a neutral journal. So um, you could actually go in and put your own twist on this and add different things to make it a theme journal. Remember, these were the first things we did, these flowers. I love this, some little lace for you to add if you'd like. And this, if you wanted to, you could cut this and make it a pocket. I didn't cut it because I wasn't sure what somebody wanted to do with it. This is a huge pocket. I think this is that video that stopped in the middle or something and I created this and you guys didn't even see it. But look how wide this pocket is. You could put so much stuff in here. And I didn't put anything in these little envelopes. Um, usually I fill everything I'm in my journals. I just go crazy. I think I'm done with them and then I go through them and add more. But I was trying to leave space for you to add stuff. Um, oops, we got a little, oh, there we go. And I love the gold, my favorite. This paper, I don't know if I explained it in the video when we were putting the signatures together, but this paper is, it's a coffee dyed, but Barbara at 49 Dragonflies did uh, a method where you actually put dish soap in your coffee thing and you blow bubbles and you put the paper over it and that's, that's what this is. It's, it's fabulous. So if you get a chance, stop over to Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and look up that video. It's real fun. Okay, and then that's the back. Anyways, um, I was kind of, I actually subscribed to a couple of your channels because I um, hadn't seen you um, online before, and I was excited. I've, um, I actually subscribe to a, a couple of people and have started watching videos. A lot of times I watch the videos at night when I'm trying to go to sleep. And of course that makes it so I can't go to sleep. <laughs> but um, I don't have the capability of commenting or liking from my TV, from my remote. So then I have to remember to go in and at least pull up a video and comment or like, which um, I don't know. Sometimes the videos come out of nowhere. I'm not even sure I scroll through people's videos and it's like, which one was I watching? I can't remember. But anyways, I'm going to try to get better at that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fold these up. Um, I've got, um, let me let me tell you who had comments in here. Um, Sally Brewer, uh, user V2, VU2VF3KW3R. Handmade by Pooh, that's Dina. Ginny Shawl. Craft Crazy Craft underscore Crazy. And I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's N-Y-K P-U-N-U. So Nick or Nick Punu Punu. Uh, Abby Ruiz Ruiz. Uh, and then Oma Jip is A-N-J-A-D-V, and of course Mitzi. So those are, these are all comments from those people. So if your name wasn't mentioned, it's because I didn't find you on a uh, public subscription in mine or yours. So um, I'm going to go ahead and fold these up, and we're going to have a drawing. So um, I thought while I fold... They're all different sizes, so I'm trying not to pay much attention. What I did is I printed them out by day, and then I went through this morning and um, and added all the new ones. 
because I the cutoff was midnight last night. So hopefully I get this video up on Sunday. Um, it is now Sunday morning. Let's see, it's about 11 o'clock right now. Once I get this done, if it's not real long, it may take most of the day for this to upload on my computer because it does take forever. First, it's got to upload to the iCloud. Then, um, I have to upload the video. Look at all these, there's so many. I'm so excited and so appreciative. And the other thing I wanted to mention too, especially with all you guys who have subscribed, if there's ever anything that you wanna see or you have a question about, um, I'm still, even though I've been making journals for a couple of years, I started making them for my family, for my grandkids. And then I happened to make a themed one and somebody wanted to buy it. So I started, my YouTube channel was originally like mixed media art. That's what I was doing back in, I don't know, 2015. And I was gonna try to do that and I couldn't keep it up with work and I don't know. It was hard. You have to have a lot of time to do this. Um, mainly because what I like doing is drawing, illustrating, coloring, uh, Bible journaling, uh, making handmade journals or junk journals, and the whole techie part, like making the videos, um, uploading them, editing them. That part I don't, it's not that enjoyable. <laughs> I like getting the email saying everybody commented because that's fun. It's, it's, I really feel like um, quite a few people I've gotten kind of to know um, that are newly subscribed. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, people. You know who you are. You know how many times you've commented, so I didn't even take a count. I just printed them out by day and then cut them up. It was um, seven full pages of comments. So I printed them by day. So as we go along, um, like I don't have all of Dina's together or all of Sally's together or all of Abby's together, you know what I mean? They're all by day, so they're all mixed up. And I noticed that um, I mentioned Louise Heinzel in my videos now and then because she's my wannabe person. I just think she is amazing. I was lucky enough to be accepted to be on a des her design team for a very short stint. She disbanded the design team because I think she got so, she had so much going. I'm not really sure why, but for a couple months, I was able to participate on that. And I mean, I was buying her digitals. Those were the first real digitals I was buying because I just loved her style. Um, still love her style. And from her, I, you know, went out and saw Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and love her style. So the community is amazing, but we do learn about others from others. So I hope that, you know, people will look at the people I subscribe to and say, oh, she saw some value in those videos. I might be interested in that as well. Oh gosh, thank you guys. Look at all these. Just amazing. Well, this one's like really big, so I'm gonna cut. I don't want them to feel too different is all.
Okay, got them all, got them all folded up, cut up, folded up, and whatever. So now I have to find a box. And I think I have an old Amazon box right here. So I think this will work. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna put all this in here. Okay, it looks like we got Handmade by Pooh. Dina, congratulations. Well, I'm excited to get this sent out. Um, what I need you to do, Dina, is, um, oh, I should have wrote this down. Let me write it down so you'll have it. I'm gonna put it right on here. Let's see if I have a marker. So my email is byrbirdstreetstudio at gmail.com. I'm going to hold it up so you can get it. Maybe take a screenshot or something, Dina. So there's my email. It's Bird Street Studio, B Y R D S T R E E T Studio at gmail.com. If you could go ahead and, and put in that email, um, just say, you know, that you are excited to win. Uh, give me your first, last name, and address, and possibly an email in case I have to have correspondence back and forth. And I can't wait to mail this off to you. To everybody who subscribed, commented, um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.